Okay, let's do a full body blast. I'm gonna start on my lower leg. I am heated, I'm out in the sun, and I am pre-oiled. I'm gonna start out with my face blaster and just prep the superficial top layers. You can use any blasters of your choice. On my shin bone. Up on my kneecap. I'm going to go around my ankles. And the top of my foot. Going on top of each toe, straddling with the little claw. the top of the ankle, inside of the ankle, around the medial side of my foot, coming back to my Achilles tendon, and I'm going to come back and do the bottom of my foot when I'm done. I'm going to switch to this other lower leg. around the ankle. The face blaster is so nice to get around your joints. I always go right over my knee. the top and the inside of my ankle, back of my calf, getting right up behind my knee, Going right over my shin bone. And now I'm going to work on the top of that foot. Getting the medial edge of the foot up along the big toe. Or like turning it to the side and going right in between the 
metatarsal joints coming all the way up. Okay, now I'm gonna go back with my mini one and use these deeper, these uh, bear claws to go a little deeper. If you're a new blaster, I will have all the recommended guidelines listed here for you. You want to, um, you wanna have this comfortable. You don't wanna be in any pain. There may be some discomfort if you have tight fascia. I've been blasting for uh, two and a half years, and so this is pain-free for me. Um, I may have a sensitive area, like around my ankle and the inside here is a little bound, um, but you just want it to be a two to four on your pain level. You never go over a seven because your body will sense a discomfort and it will tighten up, and we are wanting to promote healing So I'm just going with the muscle fiber, doing my entire lower, lower leg from knee all the way ankle and top of my foot. And then I'm gonna come in with my bigger blaster and do the cross fiber just cause it's a little easier. Um, I do blast all directions. You have better luck to hit all the adhesions if you go all directions. Um, you can blast sitting, standing, you know, if you have something to put your foot on, whatever position is comfortable, you just want to kind of maintain good posture. So I am at the beach, so I'm out in the sun, and I am warm. <laughs> I did put a layer of sunscreen on underneath of the oil, so anytime you need a break, go ahead and take a break. Okay, I'm going to switch to my other lower leg now. I'm gonna keep using the mini one. I'm gonna start out on the top of my kneecap. I'm gonna work all the way down to my ankle. So blasting is a workout. Um, you tone your arms and you get a little of what we call blaster endurance. Uh, I just look at it as a nice workout. If you have the mini one or mini two, you can also use the nuggets around any of your joints if they feel tight. 
anywhere you have a little sensitive area or tight spot, you can spend a little more time. Sensitive areas are usually an indicator that you have an adhesion or you have tight fascia in that area. And when I started, this was very painful down here. It was really tight and restricted. And it just got easier each time. I'm gonna hit the arch of my foot and the top of my foot now with my big claws. Sometimes it's nice to have your foot flat down on a surface or to put your hand under it just to give you the, the uh, backdrop so you're you have a, a harder surface to blast on. Okay, I'm gonna switch to my full size now and I'm gonna do some cross fiber. It's just easier with me um, for the bar to go across or even a mini two. It's a little easier to go cross fiber for me. And I'm going to cross fiber on the other leg. Oh, this feels so good out in the sun, here in the waves. Okay. Just bringing some of that oil up and let's start on our upper leg. I'm again going to start with the small claws of the face blaster, which is a nice prep tool. Opens up that superficial fascia layer that's right under the skin. If you blast your glute, you can uh, include your glutes in here.
So I'm doing all the way from up at my hip, all the way down to my knee, getting some blood flow, hitting my glute, inner thigh, hamstring, behind the knee. I go right, um, your hamstring comes down here and attaches down into your lower leg, into your tibia. Your gastric comes up and it crisscrosses your hamstring right here. So I make sure I hit that attachment site. Um, you do have an artery in your lymph nodes, high concentration of lymph nodes behind your knee. I do lightly blast over it. I do not dig. I've never had inflammation. So just be cautious of that area. And I'm going to go ahead and finish out with the big claws on this leg since the oil, I still got nice oil. I'm going to use my mini too. Use any blasters of your choice. The reason I choose the mini two up here and the mini one on my lower leg, of course, is the smaller area, single claw. Um, it just fits really nicely. They all work well. Personal choice. If you have two, two minis, you can double. Put one in each hand, it makes it go faster. Same if you have two face blasters, double up. You can keep one going on the outer thigh. That IT band is often a tight area of saddlebag. And rotate your other one around. Have fun. Okay, I'm gonna grab my full size blaster now. It's going to get a little more oil. So with this bar, I can get just a little more leverage. There's a great article on how to know how deep to go, when to go deeper, easing into treatment. I'll include it in the link. But basically, when you're blasting um, with light pressure, you're getting good blood flow to the surface, turning red, it's pain-free, and you're not bruising with regular pressure, then you can start going a little deeper. Listen to your body, ease in, and see how you react. So this is a nice position to get the glute hammy tie-in. Just going both directions on my hamstrings. I'm going to angle, get right up onto that glute. Getting my hip.
over to my hip flexor. It's a nice position to get your hip flexors. Sure, I get that inner thigh. And hamstring. Okay, I'm going to go to my other leg. Grab a drink whenever you need it. And I'm going to start out with the face blaster, prepping that tissue. Okay, I'm going to move on to my mini two. Going up on my glutes. Ahora no está igual. ¿Cuántos? Hi, facial blasting. Nada. I'm going to use two.
Okay, I'm gonna switch to my full size. Get some extra leverage here. Doing some cross fiber. I like doing like a V around my knee. And I'm going to tip up and do my hamstring. around my hip. Now up front to the hip extenders. Okay, now I'm going to take and I'm just going to go lightly without removing my swimsuit. I'm going to use the face blaster now lightly on that top fascia. Just uh, nice to hit that superficial fascia again with these little claws after hitting it with the big claws. It's a nice finishing touch. I like switching up the different size claws gives you a chance, you know, to release the whole fascia line, all the adhesions. I'm using the same pressure I would to apply lotion. Okay, I'm going to come up this leg and I am just feeling with my hands to see if I have any big lumps or chunks anywhere that need addressed. You know, if your muscle fibers are running this way, you feel a big band going horizontal or a big round clump that feels like chewing gum, or you have a place that's white and everything else is red, it's a good indication that you have a bound spot there, an adhesion. And if you do, and you want to work on that spot not longer, now is the time. I also like taking my knuckles. Always good to go up towards the heart, but I will once in a while scrub back and forth if there's a little spot, like right here. I feel a little bound area. It's a common spot. It's where that hamstring comes down and crosses. 
um, your tibia from your gastric, your calf and your hamstring crisscross right here like shoelaces, and it often can get bound up. So any area on you right now that needs extra work, feel with your hands, check it out. Work on those spots on your legs right now. If you need any, I like the face blaster for a precision tool. I get in and I point with one claw. I turn it on the edge. I can do some scooping like I'm gonna take out ice cream. Anything that's bound. You can also nugget. Um, I'm not gonna do any nuggeting since I am uh, on vacation. I don't wanna be all bruised up. But this would be an area where I have an adhesion and I could go in and nugget. I could also crayon and scrub back and forth. I like also taking this sideways like a comb and combing through that spot. All right, and then I'm just gonna pull it up towards my heart, flushing this area. And I'm gonna do the same on the other leg. I'm gonna finish out my top. Make sure you still have some oil on. With the face blaster, feeling for adhesions, being aware of how everything feels, doing what my body needs. I'm gonna come through with my hands, feel if I need to work on any area. Same spot, both legs. Like going through my quads and just separating out that tissue pushing deep with my thumbs you don't want these muscles glued together okay when you're all done bring it all up Okay, for our back, I'm going to use my full-size blaster because it's the easiest. If you have extenders, use your extenders here. And I'm just gonna go across my low back. going both directions, cross and with the fiber. I like going kind of in a diagonal down here on this Lovelander area. You can take one hand and go in here and scrub either with your full size or with a mini. right over my iliac crust. And 
I'm going to do this other love handle, Iliac cross side. Going both directions. And I'm going to go back with my full size. Okay, and I'm going to move on to my obliques. going to use my mini two here. Come all the way up on the ribs, all the way down through your hip. I'm going to take my face blaster and come right up here on my ribs. Coming down. I'm using a little more pressure with my face blaster here. I like how it can just fit nicely between my ribs. Coming under my breast to the front ribs. Curving under those ribs, from my sternum down. Right now, I'm going to take my face flat, my full size blaster. I'm going to come around the front of my hip. So I went down here, down here. And I'm going to come up on the front of my ribs here with my full size, coming back against my oblique. Now I'm going to go to my other oblique. You can do this laying down too. Whatever is comfortable. This will be laying. For me, it's more comfortable to sit. I feel like it can stretch this out a little bit longer. Or kneel, whatever you call this. Grab my full size. I'm going to use my face blaster up on my ribs. Doing my whole entire rib cage here. Okay, and now I'm going to diagonal. 
right along this hip bone, across my obliques. I'm going to diagonal up, oblique to rib. Okay, I'm going to grab a drink and we're going to move on to the abdominal area. I'll use the face blaster a little bit here. You want to go all the way to your breast, down to your pubic bone. We don't blast on our breast tissue. Around them, not on them. Um, if you have any overhang or anything moving, you can just brace it, lean back on pillows. And go both directions. Okay, I'm gonna grab my full-size blaster. And I'm gonna start out, just going to go across, starting at the top of my ribs. And then I'm gonna go to the side. Come back to the top. I just kind of move around, do what's comfortable. Kind of have to get at some angles so I don't have to hit my hip bones here. I'm going to go up and down. And I'm going to do a little diamond technique. Starting at the top, I'm going to switch the other side, and I'm going to switch. And switch. I'm just going to go across this lower area. And I'm going to go back to the up and down movement. Okay, I'm going to finish out hitting my side all the way around with my face blaster. Okay, let's go up onto our chest. I like taking my face blaster right on my sternum. Our muscles come and attach in here. You just want to avoid your breast tissue. Move your breast out of the way if you need to. Coming up on our pectorals. All the way up to the clavicle, out to the shoulder, make sure you get this area all around the breast, coming up close to the armpit, do not dig in the armpit, you have a high concentration of lymph nodes in this area.
Face Blaster is my favorite um, and the mini one for this area. Oh, the Master Blaster too. <laughs> I don't have it out here. Doing up on top of my clavicle. It's nice to look down so those uh, attachments are not too tight. Okay, and then I'm just going, your carotid artery runs right in front of your SCM. It is in front of and below. Uh, it is not recommended to blast directly on it. Um, I do all of my ski leans in this whole neck area very lightly as if I was putting on lotion. So as if I was rubbing just like this. And then I skip over to my SCM. Coming to my trap up behind my ear. And I'm going to reach around into my upper thoracic now, my scapula. all the way under here and you can use any blaster you want now if you want to use your full size if you have extenders mini one I'm going to move into my arm. Doing all areas of my shoulder and arm. Go right over my elbow. my mini one. This is another area. If you have um, any sore areas around here, you can always use your nugget to help loosen. Just go in and poke and wiggle. Push and wiggle. Okay? It'd be push and then a little wiggle to help release. I'm going to take my face blaster. I'm going to hit my other side.
to your trap, your neck, your scapula, your shoulder, your rhomboids. I don't have extenders with me or I would use them on this area for the best way to reach. Moving on to my mini one for my arms. Make sure I get this area. And finish out this arm. Again, check for any tight spots, work them out. Um, I always finish off with flushing or with uh, flushing, blasting my hands after I've gripped the blaster. It feels so good. other hand okay and then you know you flush out your body Lots of tutorials for flushing. It just helps move that fluid. So you can do your whole body. Do your back and belly up. If you do any circles, go in a clockwise um, motion. Same as your digestive tract. Okay. All right. And then the only I hope thing you enjoyed the beautiful beach at Cabo. The camera feet. overheated at the so end. Like if you want to finish off blasting the, the bottoms of your feet and your scalp and your face, you have a full body I blast like in an hour. I also like the but I do like the big claws. So you can really get in there. So I just finished on my feet. Just um, well, 